Pike. And from the start, it looked a little off in the synchronization, but somehow they caught up. Right here, they're not together. In the air, they managed to catch up to each other. Lynn's been a powerhouse on the uh, circuit winning four golds in synchro. And they have a good response. Spot on. The extra training that they have to do to compete in this event, they have to spend that time together. If you're looking at, at, at the two genders and the difference is in style and grace and power and how they're able to, you know, manage uh, one, the men, you know, giving up a little bit of power, the women trying to keep up. Wow. Very well done. Right from the takeoff. You see the difference in the height here a little bit, but not much. So they really have found a way to make it happen. The Chinese in front, but only by 6.69 points ahead of the British divers. Fourth round dive, a forward two and a half somersault, like position, one twist. 3.0 degree difficulty. They're off on the board here. They don't leave at the same time. Somehow, though, in the air, they catch up to each other and complete two beautiful dives. That's remarkable. 8.5 and 8 for execution and 8 fives across the board in synchronization. And they're the leaders. Amazing, really. It will surely be enough to take over. The coach is finding it a bit funny here, but uh, two divers, really, two and a half pikes. They only need to score in the mid-40s. But they're the champions here today, and in doing so, push the Canadians off the podium. The final dive of the day.